Hey everyone, and welcome back to a second edition of Switch Physical Deals, where basically we try to scour the internet and find what are the current best deals on buying a Switch game physically. Now, new to this edition of Switch Physical Deals, we won't only be looking at Amazon, we will do all the major retailers. Basically, last time, since it was a new idea of mine and I wasn't sure anyone was going to like it, I didn't want to dive too deep. But since I got a lot of positive response to that first edition, well now we will go and we will look at all the deals available at all the major retailers. Now just a couple of things before we get started to make sure we're all on the same page. Number one is that unfortunately I can't confirm when all the end dates are for all these different deals because especially on Amazon they aren't published. And most of the retailers do swap their deals on Thursdays or Fridays. So if you're watching this video as it comes out, you should have at least a couple of days to pick these deals up, especially if you go online, you should be able to get them no problem. Also, I am aware that some of these games have already been sold for cheaper than this. However, we're currently not in Black Friday season. So these are nonetheless what I think are very good deals for the game you're getting without having to wait another seven months to be in the big holiday deals season. As usual, for all the deals that are available on Amazon, I will be leaving affiliate links down below in the description of the video. If you want to pick up the games, you can use those links. And last thing before we get started, don't forget that if you do like this content and you want to see more, hit the like button. It is the best way to support the channel and also subscribe if you aren't already. So we're basically going to be doing this retailer by retailer. And we're going to start with the big boy. We're going to start with Amazon. Also, just before we get to this very first game, I did want to mention that currently all the big box stores, so the Walmarts, Best Buys, Targets and whatnot, are pretty much having a all around deal on first party titles. The thing is the deal is the same for pretty much all the first party titles. It's a $10 off, dropping the price from 59 to 49. I didn't wanna just fill this list with only first party titles that all have that exact same deal. But if you scour the internet, you've got Breath of the Wild, you've got Smash Brothers, you've got Mario Odyssey, all the big first party titles have that deal running right now. And we're not gonna really be discussing those $10 off deals in this video. We are going to look at some first party titles because some have more than that $10 off and those are the ones that I want to focus on. But however, I did want to leave it out there for all of you that if that $10 off is enough for you to drop the bomb on one of those first party titles, well, go ahead and pick them up. They're pretty much all available, easy to find at any of the major retailers. So the first game that we're going to take a look at is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Look, the physical edition right now is just as cheap as its cheapest price it's ever been, even on the eShop for the digital only version, and that is $29.99. Now, it's available directly on Amazon if you want to pick it up right now. I will also be mentioning as we go through the videos when there are deals that go through multiple retailers, and this one is also available at Walmart and Target as well. So if you want to pick it up, Immortals Phoenix Rising is an awesome 3D action game. Basically, it's very heavily inspired by Breath of the Wild, although much more fast paced and action oriented, I would say. And nonetheless, it's a great game and there's tons of DLC to keep the gameplay going. Now, the next game that is on sale that I would currently want to mention is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch that is currently $26.99 on Amazon and Walmart is once again matching this deal as well. Now, this is a classic JRPG, but it is really a great one. Now, I am currently aware it was featured in my eShop deals video this week. Yes, you are paying more than double price than if you go grab it on the eShop only. But if you are a physical collector and you want to add an awesome JRPG to your collection, Nino Kuni at $26.99 is a pretty, pretty good deal. Now, the next game on our list is another one that was also featured in this week's eShop deals video, and that is Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition, which is another huge JRPG. And it's once again available for under $30, which is $29.70. This deal is once again being matched by Walmart. And basically, when you're getting a huge action JRPG for under $30, and you generally will put 50 plus hours into it, in my opinion, it automatically becomes some pretty good value. And this is the kind of game that you'll want to keep and maybe come back to years later, which is why I'm suggesting the physical version. So I did say we were going to look at some first party titles. And here is the first one. We have Splatoon 2 that is currently available for $43.95. Look, it's not a bargain bin game, but this is a first party title. 
And when we're out of the holiday deals, this is about as good as it gets. And right now, this deal is being matched not only by Walmart, but by Target as well. So if you don't want to pick it up on Amazon, you actually have two other retailers that you can take a look at. Now we get to our first really Amazon exclusive deal for this video, and that is the Borderlands Legendary Collection, which is basically all the first three Borderlands games in one collection. Now with rumors that Borderlands 3 is coming to the Switch, now is a perfect time to brush up on the first three games. The only thing I would say is make sure you have a lot of space available on your micro SD card, because although this is a physical version of the game, you have almost 40 gigs to download to your micro SD card to actually be able to play all three games. So be prepared for that. Now, the next game on our list is another game coming from our eShop Deals video this week, and that is Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth The Complete Edition. So this was on sale for $19.99 on the Switch eShop. Well, if you want the physical edition, Amazon also has it at $29.23, which is actually quite a good discount for a physical version of the game. This is basically an RPG set in the Digimon world, and it is actually one of the better Digimon game that we've gotten out here in the West. Uh, the last thing I will mention is that the deal is also once again available at Walmart. And now the last game that I want to take a look at that is available at Amazon is One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 that is currently $28.90. Once again, this price is being matched by Walmart. However, the reason I'm mentioning this game is very simple. It is exactly the same price as it is currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and you're actually getting the physical version of the game. And right now is actually a perfect time to pick this game up because the DLC is on discount. So if you want the physical version of the game and you want to maybe invest in the DLC, grab it before the eShop deal is up for the DLC content. Now at $28.90, you are getting a fully fledged Warriors type game set in the One Piece universe. So next, since we said their name so often anyway, we're going to move over to Walmart. And the first game I want to take a look at is Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Look, this game, every time it's on sale, I mention it because you get a first party quality game in for a cheap, cheap price. Basically, this is Mario plus the Rabbit's franchise that have been fused together in an XCOM style shooter. Yes, it's that crazy, but trust me, this game is amazing. And it's amazing for people of all ages, whether it be younger players or adults. There's a little bit of everything for everyone in this game. Trust me, it is worth the $20. And currently, this deal is also being matched, by the way, at Target. Now, the next game I want to take a look at that is also at Walmart is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That is also below the average $49 price for those first party titles on sale. And this one is down to $44.99. Now, Tropical Freeze is, in my opinion, one of the best all-around Donkey Kong countries. Other than the nostalgia I have for the first ones, this is actually my favorite of the more recent iterations. I like it better than Donkey Kong Country Returns. And once again, outside of the holiday specials, we don't get much lower than this for first-party titles. And currently, this deal is being matched both at Target and also at Best Buy. So we jump right into another first party title at Walmart and the next one is going to be Yoshi's Crafted World that is currently at $38.88. Make it at one of the actual cheapest first party titles you can currently pick up. Now Yoshi's Crafted World I would say is a shorter game than most first party title games will turn out to be and also it is maybe a little bit more easy to play and easy to finish. So if you're looking for a challenge, Yoshi's Crafted World should definitely not be on the top of your list. But if you're looking for a game that will be actually very accessible to younger players, I would definitely say that Yoshi's Crafted World would then be like your first stop. Now the first party deals at Walmart are not over. We have another one to look at and this is Mario Tennis Aces. However, this deal is also being matched by Target. And this makes it a second game at under $40. This one is as well $38.99. Look, if you're into tennis or you're into the Mario sports game franchises, Mario Tennis is pretty much one of the better Mario sports game we've gotten in the last few years. Mostly because we haven't actually gotten that many and we're going to get finally a follow-up to Mario Golf this year. 
But I would definitely say that if you're looking for a co-op game or a game that you can play against someone else in your household, Mario Tennis Aces is a great stop for this week. Now we're going to finish up our Walmart list by an exclusive deal and that is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night that is currently $25.99. Now this is a traditional Metroidvania, all done, although done with a 2.5D style. Honestly, this game at launch had a lot of problems on the Switch, but I can tell you from playing it myself that most of it has been patched out at this point, and now this becomes a very decent pickup for anyone who is into the Metroidvania style. Not only that, but we regularly are getting DLC for this game, so this is another one that I would definitely invest in in this week if you're into the Metroidvanias. Now the next retailer we're going to take a look at is GameStop. And the first game I want to talk about is not a traditional physical game. And I know it's maybe cheating to include it on this list, but I had to mention it because the deal is so sweet right now. The reason why I'm saying this is if you pick up Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, unfortunately there is no physical cartridge included. It is only a download code in a box. If you would like having empty boxes on your shelf, this is still something you can look at picking up. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is because it's only $19.99 and currently outside of the eShop this is the cheapest way to pick up Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath which is basically Mortal Kombat 11 plus all the new character storylines and also the combat pack included. And for $20 you're still getting a really amazing deal especially if you're normally not used to buying from the eShop. Now the second game I wanted to mention Coming from GameStop, although it's not exclusive because Target is matching this deal, is Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville, the complete edition. Now look, this game just came out on the Switch and it's the first time that I see the physical edition, even the eShop edition, on sale. So if you wanted to pick this game up and you wanted it to be a little bit on a discount, $29.99 instead of $39.99 is nonetheless a pretty significant discount for a game that came out only about a month ago. This is a great game that I even reviewed myself on the channel and you can check that video out if you want more information. But it's basically a third person shooter based in the world of Plants vs. Zombies. It's amazingly fun cartoon style graphics and tons of fun. So our next retailer stop is going to be Target. Now Target only has two deals but both of them are exclusive. And the first one is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for only $19.99. One of my all-time favorite arcade style racers on the Switch. This is a game that if you're into racing games is a definite pickup and this matches the lowest price it's ever been so far either on the eShop or physically. So this is a great deal to be picking up this week. And the second game available also from Target is another racer and that is Burnout Paradise Remastered. Another arcade style racer, however, with even more over the top mechanics than what you find in Need for Speed. I personally am a Need for Speed fanatic, but a lot of people love Burnout. I enjoy Burnout as well, just not as much as Need for Speed. But if you were looking to pick up this game, this is once again lowest ever price, both on the eShop and physically. So right now, if you're going to target, these two exclusive deals are really amazing for anyone who's in to driving games on the Switch. Now the last stop for this week is going to be Best Buy. They only have one deal, but it is an exclusive one and it is a game that just released and that is Persona 5 Strikers that is currently on sale for $39.99. Now the Strikers series isn't the general type of experience we get from the Persona series, but it is nonetheless a very, very solid entry. And for a game that just released last month to already have $20 off, this is an amazing deal and if you were waiting to play this game I would pull the trigger on it now because since this is an exclusive deal we don't know when we're going to see something like this again. So that is pretty much it for our second edition of Switch Physical Deals. Now I really want to hear back from all of you. Are you still liking this series? Should we bring it back more often or is it okay with this once a month type schedule? Also, are you enjoying the fact that now I'm looking at multiple retailers or should I go just back to Amazon alone? I really think that it was worth going to look at the other retailers this week because there were actually quite a few exclusive deals that we would have missed had we stopped at Amazon alone. Not only that, but Walmart winds up matching almost 70% of all the deals, which is something good to know if you want to make just one stop in person. But anyway, let me know down below in the comments 
what you're thinking about this series. And as usual, don't forget that if you want to support the channel, the best thing to do is to hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.